Okay. All right, 77 kilogram final now, Victor. And this is a great one. In the black rash guard is Fabio Caloy of Alliance going up against Roberto Jimenez of Studio 76. Now, everybody knows who Roberto Jimenez is. Everybody was expecting him to make it into the finals here at ADCC Trials this weekend. Definitely one of the favorites in this, in this division. The Fabio Caloy. Man, this guy is an incredible competitor. Tell us about Fabio. Well, Fabio Caloy has been around for a while. The, 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 like, the man is like, he, I, what is his age right now? What is, he, what is his age right now? 30s. I, I would say 30s, mid 30s. Yeah. yeah, like I would say late 30s, right? I would say late 30s. I, I, I'm not really sure, but he's been around for so long. And seeing him in a, in a trials final right now is amazing because he had. I would say like two or three wars. It was, there were very, very tough fights. Yeah, no, he's 33 years old. He's 33 years old. But he's but a still, veteran. He's a veteran. He's been around, and, and a he's very been long around time. for so long, man. He's yeah. been fighting everything for so long. Gi, no gi, everything. And on the other side, uh, Roberto Jimenez is such a talented kid. Yeah, he's 21. He's, he's 21, 21 but, years old. But Roberto has been around forever at this point. As well. He's been a black belt for a couple of years now. And, man, Roberto has gone head-to-head -head with some of the very best in the world at uh, every weight class. Everywhere. Gi, no gi, everything. Oh, jumping guillotine attack there from Caloy. He had a decent grip of Roberto's neck there for one second. But now Roberto was in a good position to... Stuff the guard and start passing. Yeah, they, they, they already they already gave a, a, a negative for for Kaloy. So Kaloy has a negative, and it's 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 cool to see it's cool to see Roberto. It's cool to see Roberto Jimenez attacking attacking the feet because. They're gonna take him back into the center of the mat. Right, it's cool to see Roberto attacking the legs because the last, I would say the last fights that he lost in, in, in Nogi were all uh, 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 leg locks or, or ankle or heels. It was all limbs right there. So now he's attacking the legs there from Caloi. Caloi is uh, he's trying to get, get Roberto's back exposed. If there is one weakness that everybody knows about with Roberto Jimenez, it is that he has a vulnerability, a known susceptibility to leg locks. It is the one glaring hole in his game, the chink in his armor. He has lost again and again. And we've seen him in some pretty deep heel hook attacks this weekend, but he was able to find his way out. So there is the question, has he been working on his leg attacks? Has he been working to improve this part of his game? So think, far, we'd yeah. say yes. Yeah, I would say it's two things. One, he's probably working a lot on defending his legs. But two, the leg attacks here in Brazil, as we said previously, are not as strong as the ones we see in the, in the events in the U.S. and who's number one and all the events that we see out there. And uh, so it's probably a combination of both. But he's definitely doing his homework. Jimenez, of course, is dual nationality, American and Ecuadorian, which is why he is able to compete at both the North American trials and the South American trials. And he passes the guard nice now. Nice guard pass, but no points still. No points yet, but this is a good attacking position. Yeah, how bad does he need? He doesn't care too much about points, we can say that, right? No, not at all. He is kill or be killed. He looks for the submission. He just goes forward. And look at this, a neon Neon neck. face. I think he's been training with Cyborg. <laughs> Very strong control of the body. And that knee on the, or the knee on the jaw or on the neck, it's a, that's a powerful weapon. It's not necessarily uh, always going to get you the submission, but it's very uncomfortable. It right? is, 100%. Very dominating. And it's tough to move from there. Something we should make note of. Five matches today for Roberto Jimenez. Four submissions. Wow. That's what Beto Jimenez is at, at his, in his, his habitat, for sure. 
some quick submissions. He scored three submissions in two minutes or less. Fabio Caloy scored two of his own submissions, both quick kills as well. But Roberto, oh, look at this, the way Roberto passes his leg over the top, but Caloy manages to get the reversal. Look at right there. Beautiful reversal from Caloy. Oh, nice defense by Roberto. Beautiful defense by Roberto. Oh, and comes back Beautiful into the defense by Roberto. That was a wonderful sequence. Caloy was able to defend the mount the first time, but this time, He's Roberto, not even, straight He doesn't even care about the points. He wants to go for the kill. He had the mount, he had the pass. He didn't try neither. He's just going for the kill. Body triangle over the arm as well, and working on the neck. Roberto Jimenez hunting for the neck now. 3-0, Roberto. And he's going to look for the rear choke. He does not care. He got a, the arm trapped. It's going to be really tough to avoid this choke right now. Really tough. Caloy only to has one choke. hand there to defend. Go. It goes in. Got it right there. Done job. Submission win for Roberto Jimenez here. What an amazing victory. A very happy Roberto Jimenez qualifies for the ADCC World Championships in September with a submission in the final here in Sao Paulo. What an amazing performance here today. Amazing performance by Roberto. Six matches, five, five submissions. Wow. Incredible performance from Roberto Jimenez. So cool to see him fight.